It would be an extremely difficult job to make a new flagship smartphone every year and make that new flagship smartphone actually exciting every single year. It's like releasing a video game on an annual schedule. It's just really hard to do that and make that new thing a big enough leap or jump compared to the last year's model to warrant people, one, to want to upgrade. That's almost impossible. But two, to even be like excited about it because you just can't radically change things every single year. So you probably aren't going to be all that exciting every single year. This, of course, is very true with Samsung's Galaxy smartphones, the S23 Ultra. Not a huge change from the S22 Ultra, and it appears as though the 24 seemingly will be a fairly small change as well. There will be some reshuffling of some camera hardware, but by and large, this is going to be just the new version of what we've had for quite some time. We've even seen some leaks about what this device might look like, and it's going to look pretty much like last year's model looked as well. What is the exciting thing about this? Well, we had heard some reports that Samsung would be leaning quite heavily into generative AI. Yes, indeed, if you haven't already heard enough about generative AI, you're going to continue hearing it more and more. It's not just Google, it's going to be Samsung as well. We also saw that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the processor that this S24 and, of course, many other phones in the future will be running. When they announced it, they showed off all sorts of generative AI stuff. It is a big talking point for this processor. So that kind of lent credence to the reports that the S24 Ultra, the S24 line, will be leaning heavily into generative AI as well. Again, changing the cameras around a little bit, maybe losing the 10x zoom, going down to a 5x zoom that's high resolution. Nothing massive, crazy, exciting there. Maybe the AI stuff was going to be where they were going. Well, now we've got another kind of bit of a you know bread trail crumb leading in that direction. Perhaps this is a whole loaf of bread that they've dropped. Samsung unveils its own generative AI model. And of course, Samsung's model has to have a name, and their name is Samsung Gauss. It is based upon Carl Friedrich Gauss, who established the normal distribution theory, or Gaussian, Gaussian, which uh, I've used his blur many times. Good work on that blur, Carl. So just like Google has barred, now Samsung is going to have Samsung Gauss. And as you can see here, it's going to be doing the exact same sorts of things. Language, coding, images. It's going to be able to generate any of these things that you want it to generate. Again, very similarly to what we have already seen. The biggest difference here is that with the power of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, a lot of this stuff should be possible on the device itself. We have seen prototype hardware running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, creating images again on device, nothing being sent to the cloud, all being done locally. And of course, Sam Mobile has this breakdown listed down here. I will link to their article below. Samsung Gauss language understands human language and generates answers. Code is a model that specializes in coding languages. So asking it to write you up something in Python or whatever, and it will be able to do that. Samsung Gauss image is basically like Dolly. It's going to let you create and edit images on the S24, theoretically, on device. Quickly, Editor Shane, hours ahead in the future, has to step in here because after I finished all this, a few more little tidbits dropped and leaked. Let's take a look at uh, this tweet from Ice Universe, who tends to be pretty on the ball in regard to Samsung stuff. We'll go actually a couple of layers deep here to this post from Rovegnus. S24 is equipped with significantly enhanced AI features, and one of those features is AI live translate call. As you can see here, this is something from Samsung's newsroom, so not even a leak, just an actual com confirmation. AI live translate call will soon give users with the latest Galaxy AI phone, Galaxy AI phone, mind you, that's pretty crazy wording. A personal translator whenever they need it because it's integrated into the native call feature. The hassle of having to use third-party apps has gone. Basically, audio and text will be translated in real time as you speak. So you're, for whatever reason, maybe you're on speakerphone. It might be useful, right? You can just see the words the person is saying being typed out. But there's going to be more than just this. Ice Universe says, I can confirm this is one of many functions of the S24 series. And if we go back to this original tweet... 
In addition, I can confirm that Galaxy AI, by the way, we talked about this being called Samsung Gauss. Well, apparently when it's on these phones, they're gonna to refer to it as Samsung AI. It's gonna be used for some things that maybe be lost in translation a little bit here because I don't really know what they mean necessarily. Report summary. So does this maybe mean like summarizing what's on your screen, summarizing a web page, possibly? Camera best photos and many other functions. I'm not really sure what camera best photos either. Maybe it's like looking at your pictures and saying these are good ones. I don't know that I want an AI to be making that call. I think I'd rather make that call for myself, but at any rate, Ice Universe kind of adding to this along with Tech Reeve there that there are many, many AI features coming. And Ice Universe actually, I think, tweeted something very specific about this. Yeah, here we go. Samsung Gauss AI will be the biggest selling point of the S24 series. So they feel like what I've been saying for a few weeks now might actually end up being true that there's not a lot changing about this phone. AI is what they're going to lean into, and that's going to be the major selling feature. All that being said, back to past Shane. Now there's one more weird thing about this that we need to bring up and let's take this with a pinch of salt. We have this tweet here from Revegnus Tech Reeve. They stated Samsung is actively pursuing the option of offering the on-device AI features of the S24 as a subscription service. And of course I saw this and I quote tweeted this and I said this would be incredibly dumb for multiple reasons. It's happening on device. You own the hardware that is doing the thing. Why would you need to pay more? I bought the phone. Why would I need to pay more to use the phone, a thing it can do? I'm not sending it to your data center. That would be incredibly stupid. So take that with, like I said, that pinch of salt. Hopefully this is absolutely false and Samsung is not even considering doing that because it would be really, really stupid considering what Google is already doing with this sort of thing. Not even on device, Magic Editor is happening in a data center, Video Boost in a data center, Zoom Enhance in a data center, and they're not asking Pixel 8 users to pay for that. That's just part of owning a Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro. So should Samsung roll something like this out where it's not even happening in their data center and then they wanted to charge for it, that would be a really, really bad decision. And hopefully there are enough people with a brain inside their skulls at Samsung to know that. And this report is absolutely false. Otherwise, I mean, maybe if they've got some crazy stuff, maybe Samsung uh, Gauss is just so far beyond everyone else that it is worth paying for. But even still, guys, like one, that's just not likely, right? Bard has been around much longer. It's been worked on much longer. Uh, Microsoft's Bing chat has been around much longer as well. It's not like they're just going to suddenly jump out and be in front of everybody else. This is not like Samsung's strong suit anyways. And then two, it's on device. It doesn't make any sense. But guys, there you go. More evidence, more proof that the S24's killer feature could indeed be on device generative AI. Are you excited? Are you sick of hearing about generative AI? Let me know in the comments down below. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you go so you don't miss out on more content just like this. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.